I want to talk about what the GameStop traders from the Wall Street Bets need to know about the silver short squeeze. There's a very big difference between the two. I think a silver short squeeze is at least 10 times of a big deal. There's a lot of reasons why that's the case, and I'll be going over them here in a minute. But because it's a much bigger deal, it's also going to be a much bigger feat. So it's not going to be as easy to defeat these banks that have been manipulating the silver price for so long. The reason why is because GameStop is just one stock, and it's not nearly as big as the entire silver market. So it's much easier for a number of people to go and pump the GameStop stock. But just because it's easier doesn't mean that it is a better idea. Personally, I think if it were me, I would sell GameStop and AMC and I would go all in on silver. In fact, I was all in on silver for many years until crypto came out. Then I bought some crypto. Lately, I've really added a lot more crypto to my position and I also got into mining stocks. I'll touch on that in a little bit. But I think silver is a very sound investment and GameStop is a pump and dump scheme. Now I understand that they're doing it for a cause. They're not just pumping it to make a profit and dump it. The idea is to make some of these hedge funds uh, lose a lot of money. You know, these big, big players, they're going to lose billions. And I think that's great. I think it's good to beat them at their own game and everything. I'm all for that. But this whole silver story is much, much bigger. And I'm glad to see a lot of newcomers coming in and realizing what's going on in the silver industry. This is huge for silver. It's huge for the world. And I want to invite you, if you're a GameStop trader, I want to invite you to the silver world because this has the potential to be an even bigger historic moment. And I hope that you take the challenge on and that we can all make history together. The reason why silver is a much bigger deal is because it's known as the Achilles to the banking system, the Achilles heel. So if this silver manipulation were to come to an end, it could make a huge, huge difference in a lot of different markets, but a key difference for you that, you know, if you're an investor, the thing is, is if you're buying GameStop, hopefully you're buying at the bottom, but most people didn't. They didn't get the opportunity to. They bought closer to the top or in the middle, somewhere in between. So there's going to be a lot of bag holders at the end of the day, and people are probably going to lose a lot of money. That's because GameStop isn't worth what the price was pumped up to be. Whereas silver, even if you pump the price up to silver, I would say even to $1,000. I think that's fairly close to what the value of silver should be. So basically you could pump silver up 30 or 40 times its current price just to reach a fair value. Whereas with GameStop, but by the time they pumped it up even a little bit, it was overpriced, which means someone's buying something for more than it's worth. You don't want to do that. It's the opposite of what you want to do with investing. With silver, you can be buying something that's extremely undervalued and still stick it to the man, as they're calling it. You can still cause these people to lose a lot of money without jeopardizing your hard work, your savings, your investment portfolio. But what is happening right now is that this energy is being 
channel it into a lot of different areas. So not all of the GameStop and Wall Street bets people, not all of them are going into the silver. Some of them think it's a distraction from the GameStop movement in the silver. So that is taking away a lot of the power from the silver squeeze movement, which again, I think is a way bigger deal. It's way more profitable and it's a lot less risky. So the reason why is because you've got a split. Some people believe in the GameStop still. Some people are learning the silver story and they're going that route. But even the people that go the silver route, they're also being split into several different categories. And that's because there are a lot of different ways to buy silver. So the newcomers to the silver story haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, personally, I got involved in silver. I, I bought my first bit in 2007 and I went all in in 2008 after reading Mike Maloney's book, which by the way is now available in the digital form for free on goldsilver.com. I highly recommend it. It's full of good information and this story needs to get out. It's a huge story. You know, and that's another difference. The GameStop story is really simple. You can get it in a few minutes. You know, people are like, let's buy a GameStop. Let's pump it up. Make these hedge fund managers lose billions of dollars. Okay. The silver story is a little bit more complex, but for many good reasons. You know, there, there's a lot of good reasons why it's more complex. So it's going to take time to understand this proposition and to evaluate it, to be confident enough to say, hey, look, this is a movement. Not only is this a great investment, but this could change the world. So again, going back to the different types of silver investments, you know, you've got ETFs, you've got um, physical silver, you've got the silver stocks, you know, you can buy the SLV, which is what a lot of the people were looking at. So, you know, you've got all kinds of derivatives, and that's part of the problem. The paper price is dictating the price for the physical metal. And they are selling, you know, two, three, four hundred times the amount of silver on paper that actually exists that we could buy. So this is a huge manipulation. That's how they're keeping the price down. And silver is one of the most important commodities on the planet, gaining in importance and becoming more and more rare. There's less silver to buy than there was a year or two ago because we are consuming more than we're mining. We go through twice as much ore to get half as much silver than we did just 10 years ago. So that's like one fourth for our effort. The silver mines, which most of them, most of silver is mined as a byproduct from mining for other things, but most of the silver that was high grade, which means basically efficient. You know, you, you get a lot of silver for your effort, for the amount of ore that you're mining. Most of the high grade silver mines are already discovered, have already been used. So that's why we're mining a lot less now than we were before. So at some point, silver has to go up. And it has to be very soon. I mean, within the next few years at least, which is relatively very soon. Because the demand is continuing to increase, especially with the Green New Deal. They're pushing solar panels, they're pushing EVs, and this is going to dramatically increase the need for silver in the market. That's why I recommend for most people to start off with buying physical silver. They can't create it on paper like they can fiat currency, like they can shares of the SLV. That's really just a a fiat silver pretty much um, so what people need to do is buy silver have it in their possession that takes it out of the marketplace because there's a limited amount and you know to make cell phones and all these different electronics we need silver silver is used so if we buy it there's gonna be a silver crisis And the price of silver could go higher than what I think anyone can imagine. 
So this is a huge opportunity. And the more silver that we have in our hands, the less silver that they have in their hands. Right now, they've been buying it up. Like JP Morgan is estimated by Ted Butler, estimated to have accumulated a hundred, or I'm sorry, a billion ounces of silver. So they're manipulating the price to make it go down, and then they are buying it in the physical form based on the manipulated, suppressed silver paper price. Eventually, we need the two prices to separate from each other, where the paper price no longer dictates the price for the actual physical metal. And the more physical that we buy and take out of the market, the easier that is to do. So that's where we're going wrong. The silver squeeze, it's brand new, so it's still yet to, you know, we're, we don't know what's going to happen yet. But... We're not going to be able to squeeze silver by buying SLV because they can just make more. They can just say, hey, yeah, we've got a bunch of silver over here in the vault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's easy to manipulate the paper market. You can't manipulate the amount of silver that is available above ground for people to buy. So that's where the power is. Now, once you have your core position of physical silver, it can be advantageous to create a stock portfolio of mining stocks if you want to just focus on silver I don't see anything wrong with that um, it's just we don't know when this manipulation will end I think it's going to end sooner than most people realize with or without the Wall Street bets crowd so you know you could buy gold and silver miners you could buy just silver miners but the reason why you'd want to do that is because it gives you leverage to the price of the metals. So if the price of silver doubles, maybe a silver stock will triple or quadruple. In fact, Jeff Clark, recently on a Kitco News interview, he predicted that the, so the mining stocks will outperform the price of the metals by a factor of five. So if silver goes up 100% in value, then the silver stocks will go up 500%, which would be huge, especially when you factor in that people like Keith Newmeyer, the um, CEO and founder of First Majestic Silver, which is the company that has the highest percentage of their revenue come from silver mining. And he's well known in space. And he's been saying for a long time that we need $100 silver. He's been predicting it. And we need $100 silver to incentivize companies to go and mine these other projects where they're not as high grade as what we had available to us in the past. So we're going to need $100 silver one way or another. So that would, right at this point, it would be about four times the price. Now, if the price of the stocks go up five times that, then that would be a 20 bagger for the silver stocks. So while the silver play may not be instant gratification like the GameStop play was for people who got in at the very bottom, it's much more of a sure bet and you're not buying an asset that is severely overvalued. Instead, you're buying an asset that is extremely undervalued. And of course, the number one rule in investing, besides don't lose money, is you wanna buy low and sell high. Well, silver certainly fits that bill, especially when compared to the GameStop squeeze. I hope you found this video informative and maybe even a little bit inspiring. I know when I first heard the silver story, I was absolutely thrilled with it, and I've been waiting for a long time, and you are in the fortunate circumstance where you can get in at the last minute and not have to wait for a decade like I have, and some people have waited even longer than that for this story to play out. But in my opinion, it has to happen at some point, and I think we are almost there. And with the help of you and maybe Wall Street Bets, whoever else is out there that wants to join us in this fight, I think we can make this happen sooner than later. Maybe 
within weeks, which would be absolutely exciting. So if you found this helpful, give it a like, thumbs up, but also share it with someone else. Share it with someone who's in the stock market because I think the stock market in general is getting ready to crash. And gold and silver, and especially their mining companies, are going to skyrocket. I think we're going to see a huge, huge, historic bull run for these precious metals miners over the next few years. So that's where I have my money. And I'm going to invite you to these potential profits and to this movement that many people have been fighting for for many years. So learn more about the silver story because there is more. And it's a fascinating story. And right now, there are more people than ever before learning what I've been focused on and thinking about pretty much every day for over a decade now. Silver, um, physical silver is like sold out. It's hard to get. Uh, the margins are high. Um, speaking of margins, what, what appears to have happened, the reason why the silver price didn't continue to climb like it did yesterday is because margin requirements were increased so they're trying to keep this contained but the volumes are huge and with your help I think we can make history together cheers for that share this video far and wide and I'll see you at the top